January 6th proved to everyone that when someone like Donald Trump is in power, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you are loyal to him like his vice president was for four years. He still was willing to put a hit out on him to further his own ends. So it doesn't matter. No one's safe. You know, I'm glad you said that because that's really an important point. And that point is Mike Pence, he knows that the president did not care whether he lived or died that day. Right. So for him to remain and have power is more important to him than to say anything. You know, the American people are witnessing the strong leadership of President Trump on the world stage. And the world is seeing that President Donald Trump is stepping into the role of leader of the free world. And he is leading. And that's troubling to me. Uh, it's troubling because at some point, uh, you know that, that you have to say, is the country more important? What did you think about Pat Cipollone saying that Mike Pence deserves a Medal of Freedom? Well, here's here's what I think. And it's the same thing that I think about um, Cassidy um, Hutchinson. You know, folks will, will keep on arguing that she's not a hero, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, I, I don't really care how you use the term. All I know is that it must have taken courage that I can't even imagine for her to come out and say all of these things. I can't imagine the pressure that she must be under. This is a party that she obviously believes in. She believes in the Republican Party. She's 26 years old. She's watching attorneys. She's watching all of these folks around her who aren't saying boo. Mm -hmm. And yet and still, she decides to come out. Mike Pence, on the other hand, he did what he was supposed to do. You can't do what you, what you were supposed to do and then the next day say, well, we just had a disagreement. Then I, I have a hard time understanding that if you had any other emphasis, you probably would have gone the other way. If you are choosing not to break the law, which is what he chose to do, I'm not going to break the law. You don't get a medal for that. <laughs> that being said, I will acknowledge that he was pressured tremendously and that he made a courageous decision knowing that his life was on the line. You know, no one's talked to his wife, but she'd probably, uh, you know, slap in the back of his head every time she gets a chance to say, I can't believe you're still standing behind this man. Because women hold it differently. And so I'm sure that his family feels much different than he does. And how is it evangelicals are so with this? And what, what do they know that I don't know? Uh, that, that they think that all of these things that are happening are okay and that they have completely given up on empathy and they have completely given up on compassion. We would say, you know, you can use compassion to talk to people and they get it. But, but, but that's not even happening. Folks don't even have compassion anymore to look at a situation and say, you know, I got to think different about that. That's really troubling. And all you have to do is look at January 6th to know that. And the question is, do we have enough power and vision and courage to, to take a look at someone else's history and say, here are the things that we have to do. I think that something has to happen to demonstrate that the country is bigger than a man. If nothing happens, then we are saying that if you become president of these United States, you can do anything if your party doesn't hold you accountable. And we have seen that the Republican Party, to them, power is way more important. So they won't hold them accountable. They show us every single day that they have no courage and that they don't care a hill of beans about us. And we should all be so fearful that if they take over the House and the Senate, that they have no lines. There is no safeguard. You know, we are a very compassionate people, people in general. But there are people that are cowards and there are people who are evil. And so that's why this is so important. If we don't hold them accountable, hold those people accountable, what is all this for? We know that 81 million people, because they voted the way that they did, whether you like Biden or not, we know that they voted the way that they did because they didn't think the other was acceptable in any way. We have a lot of work to do to amplify these messages and help people get back on track. I know things aren't the way that we want them to be, but certainly they can't wish for this. They couldn't certainly wish for another four years of this.